What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to A Therapeutic Edge. Now today on the table in front of us is an older knife. It's been around for a year or so. This is the Bestex Swordfish and this is one of my favorite D2 and G10 knives. It is just a ton of fun. It's also a really big knife. Now this was originally tan uh, G10. It's actually two forms of G10 uh, sort of layered together. This was tan and black that's not really my color. So I went ahead and took a little uh, writ dye to this and turned it gray and black and I have loved it ever since. It is just, well it really takes color well if you're into that kind of modification. Beyond that I have done nothing to this because nothing needs to be done to it. What are we looking at? Well, this is one, two, three, almost four inches of cutting area of D2. It is a full four inch blade. The knife itself is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine inches long. It is a big, big knife. And for those of you out there that pay attention to my gas station fight recommendations, this is a good one. <laughs> it is all stabby, pointy blade for sure. But it's not done in such a way that it is not a useful EDC knife. It's got this long, beautiful belly. It's got a swedge up here to keep things from being too thick, although it is probably three millimeters of D2 steel. Um, Best Tech does a really good job with their D2. Uh, I have never had an iota of rust or discoloration concerns with this blade. It is running on, it has steel liners, uh, excuse me, steel liners that are relatively thick, as you can see. But, you know, at a knife this big, it adds a positive amount of weight to it. It has a lanyard hole back here, which is useful for those of you that like lanyards. It's not my thing, but some people really enjoy it. It has a G10 backspacer. And it is a never-fail flipper. Uh, the detent on this thing is absolutely spectacular. This is a great knife if you like bigger knives. It has a stamp steel clip um, that is done really well. It's not deep carry, but it is deep carry. What I mean by that is that's how much knife you got sticking out when this thing's in the pocket. It is relatively lean in design, uh, coming in at just at a half inch. I love this thing. I really do. Let's go ahead and put it up against our old friend, the... Uh, Rat Model 1. Um, as you can see, it is longer than the Rat Model 1, but very similar in dimension all in all other respects. Uh, it's just a bigger knife than the Rat 1. And the D2 that they use, I don't know, look, I don't know what Best Tech does, but they do a really, really good job with it. Um, as I said, I've had a bunch of Best Tech knives in D2. I've never had any issues with discoloration or, you know, weathering. I don't know. I just really like it. There's some funky features. As you notice here, the uh, sharpening choil is actually a squared off edge. Um, usually companies do that rounded out. I don't know why they did that, but I think it looks kind of cool. Um, the flipper tab itself is milled out, so you've got a hole. Um, I don't know if they did that for weight or just for an aesthetic. It is exceptionally comfortable in the grip. Now the handle is verging on being a little thin, but it's got this nice swell back here, excuse me, that allows you to catch your pinky. Uh, for push cuts, this thing is really, really well done. There is no rocking back and forth. And of course, it comes to a nice fine tip, so you can do draw cuts like crazy. And as I mentioned, it is a particularly stabby design. I really like that about it. Um, it's just a great knife. And they're not that expensive. You know, this is a budget knife, and it is a budget knife done exceptionally well. Uh, well, let's see. Things that I don't like about it. As I said, it's a little heavy. Uh, of that, the, you know, it is, it is just a little bit heavy. And if they could have done the liners a little thinner or, in fact, milled them out, well, they are milled a little bit. They're milled and it's still heavy. <laughs> it is a big, bad knife. They come in a myriad of colors. You can get them in sort of a bone white G10. You can get them in um, in orange. You can get them in green. Um, as I said, I turned mine blue-gray because I think it looks considerably better. Um, if you are looking for a large, it's not hard use. It just isn't. But if you're looking for a large knife with great action and a really attractive aesthetic, the, <laughs> well, really, the Best Tech Swordfish is really going to be your knife. Now, it is Best Tech, so it's got a fair amount of branding on the blade, even for me. It's got the Best Tech logo. Um, then on this side, it says Swordfish and D2. Would I like it if they left that plain? Well, yeah, I would. But it's not something that would keep me from buying the knife, because clearly it didn't. This one is mine. <laughs> 
I think if you're looking for a budget knife, that meets a lot of different needs. Uh, this is a good camping and utility knife, and I know because I've used it that way. This is a good knife for, even for food prep, because of the length of the blade. Um, I don't think you can go wrong with this. Now, there are a couple of things that I, again, I mentioned a couple of things. One of the things I don't like is that the screws that they use to put this thing get together are little tiny screws. And that means that if you do decide to take it apart to dye it, you have to be exceptionally careful because you can strip these uh, you can actually strip out the headspace in those. Be careful if you're going to take it apart. Now, mine came apart relatively easily and died exceptionally easily, but I can't promise that will be your experience. So you're going to need to be careful. Beyond that, this is a great user knife at a reasonable price. I will, uh, of course, I'm sitting here and I can't remember the price off the top of my head. So I'll put that down in the information when I post this up. Anyway, folks, it's the best tech swordfish. I think it's a great knife. I think you'll think it's a great knife. I hope you check it out. Thank you so much for watching. I've been a Therapeutic Edge. You've been my fantastic audience. We'll see you next time.